Hey folks, and welcome back to another edition of Zog Science. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how do we uh, find the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons, the atomic number, and the atomic mass. Uh, and so that's what we're going to be working on, and, uh, and well, let's hop on into it. So uh, we can see our first example right here. Uh, we've got boron. Everything's all filled in. We look for that element symbol B, right, boron, and we can see that that is right here on the periodic table. And our mass number is 11. Now notice that this is our number here rounded off. Um, and uh, we're going to see an example of where we, maybe that number isn't going to be exactly what's rounded off here, and we'll, we'll talk about how to, how to handle that in just a moment. Uh, then we have our atomic number, number 5. Remember that atomic number, that is the number on the top of the periodic table. And once we have those two numbers, we can figure everything else out. Remember that your number of protons, right, is going to be the same as the atomic number, all right? So those are going to be the same. And then that is also going to be true for our number of electrons, okay? So our number of protons, number of electrons are going to be the same as our atomic number, which is five, at least for now when we're talking about neutral uh, atoms. Now, our number of neutrons, right, remember that's a little bit different, our number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus the number of protons. So our mass number is 11, so we have 11 minus 5 giving us 6, and so that's how we figure out the number of neutrons. All right, so let's do the next one together, sodium. All right, sodium, so we've got to look on our periodic table, got to come down here, got to find sodium. All right, and boom, here we go. Sodium is in A. So let's go ahead and write in that element symbol. And you can see my pen is not working the best, but that's okay. So there is our symbol in A. Our mass number is 24. Now, again, this is not rounded off. So in this case, <clears throat> we need to use the mass number that is given to us here. Okay, you got to use the mass that's given to you. Our atomic number is 11. That is matching up, and that's always going to match up. Okay, so whatever it is on the periodic table, that's always going to be the atomic number. All right, so how many protons do we have? Well, we've got a mass, our atomic number of 11, so that means we're going to have 11 protons. And that means that we're also going to be having 11 electrons. All right, so 11 protons and 11 electrons. Now, for our neutrons, remember, neutrons was the mass minus the number of protons. So 24 minus 11 gives us 13. Okay, I know that looks a little weird. We'll roll, we will roll with it. Okay, gallium. All right, we'll do one more together. Now, in this case, I'm giving you the number of protons and I'm giving you the number of neutrons, all right? So remember, our number of protons, that's going to be our atomic number. So we can go ahead and fill that in. That's also going to be our number of electrons. So we can go ahead and fill that in. All right, element symbol, gallium. We're going to have to look around. We're going to have to try to find gallium, gallium. Ah, now, let's say, okay, what if I don't want to have to search around? Well, we know that the atomic number is 31, and remember that our periodic table is arranged 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, an increasing number with our atomic number. So we just find until we get to 31. Ah, gallium is GA. All right, so there's gallium and our mass. Okay, now on the periodic table, if I were to take this number and round it off, that would give me 70, correct? However, I have told you the number of neutrons. Okay, so since I told you the number of neutrons, you need to use this number here in order to figure this out. Remember to find the mass, right? We are going to take the number of protons and add it to the number of neutrons. So we need to take 31 and add it to 37. 30 plus 30 gives us 60, 1 plus 7 gives us 8, so that is going to be 68, okay? So that is how you find your numbers of your mass number, your atomic number, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Uh, make sure that you fill out the rest of the sheet and submit it through Canvas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.